It is Monday and I thought that I would do something a little different. I was thinking about doing a day in the life and videoing all day long, but um, that would just be a lot of work for over and over and over again every day. So I thought that I would do like a weekly vlog and I would take clips throughout each day of the week and then at the end of the week I'll just compile them and then it'll be like a weekly vlog instead of a day in the life or daily vlogs. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how our week goes. Uh, today is Monday and um, Sean and I worked out this morning. We all had breakfast and um, got ready for the day and now it's time for chores. So we have lots of chores to do, dishes, laundry, kind of neglected those this weekend and so um, we're finally getting, well I'm finally getting to those and um, we'll take you along for the ride. Stay tuned. Okay, we are headed upstairs to get my laundry, Sean and I's laundry and the boys are gonna help and we will show you a simple way of getting laundry down the stairs. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. yeah, I know. Come up. Come here. Come help us. Okay, so that is the easy way to get the laundry down the stairs and fun for the kids to help me just throw it over. We are on our way in town right now. We were getting a little stir crazy at home and um, the boys were starting to fight a little bit and Miller was just, he's probably tired. Um, actually, he's sleeping right now. Um, he fell asleep as soon as we left the driveway. That's typically how it goes with him. but. We're on our way in town. I got a notification on my phone saying that our library books were in and so I thought what a great little break from the day at home. The laundry's going. We've been doing chores this morning and um, we're going to go get our library books and then um, we might see Sean at work. He is usually really busy on Mondays but uh, we might swing in and just say a quick hello and then who knows maybe we'll find something else to do or just come home but at least Miller's sleeping he has a, a good break and um, we just can get away from the house for a little bit let's go see dad We came for a visit. Lincoln, are you gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> hey, did you wake up? Miller, did you wake up from your nap? Hey. Yeah. And Lincoln, okay, where should we go now? Um, to I really don't know. How cool is your mom? Um, oh, Miller. The bestest. What? The bestest. The bestest? I love you, boys. I love you too. A fun treat we get to have, huh? Mm -hmm. Ice cream before lunch. Don't tell daddy. So, we're at the car wash. I decided it would be a fun time to get a car wash. It's really warm today um, by Wisconsin standards. It's, uh, I probably have ice cream on my face. Um, I think it's like in the 40s or something like that. Um, the boys are finishing their ice cream cones and Miller, Miller, yeah, he's done. Lincoln is finishing it. 
But Miller decided to like totally tip his cone upside down, dump it out. So we had to pull into some random driveway so I could make sure it didn't melt all over the seat. But we're at the car wash and I feel like I need to stick Miller out in the car wash to get him clean. Um, but I don't know if the boys, I'm sure Lincoln, when he was little, he went to a car wash, um, but we haven't been to one in so long that I'm kind of excited for them to experience it. And um, I don't know if it freaks any of you out, but you know how you have to like pull in the car wash and then you know it tells you to keep going, keep going, and keep going, and then a loud buzzer just <laughs> Like right when it says that you need to stop so you don't go too far and it freaks me out every single time just because I feel like I'm gonna fail or just go too far or not go far enough but then you also miss like the <laughs> miss like the undercarriage shooting the water too to make sure that's clean so anyway it's a little stressful going through a car wash but we're here and we're gonna do it and hopefully the boys like it and hopefully they don't scream the whole time i guess we'll find out soon Miller, what's going on lincoln what do you think good it's crazy it is tuesday morning and we are gonna just be at home all day aren't we We're gonna go to uh, the cabin for two weeks. No, okay, two start weeks. over, start over. Tell them what's going on. How many more sleeps do we have? Two more sleeps. Until, uh, until what? Until, until, until we get to go in the cabin. Until we get to go to Heartwood for our little family retreat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is that going to be exciting? Yeah. With all of our cousins, that'll be so fun. And Miller Peyton. Is, and Peyton. And Peyton, your favorite cousin of all Anna. time, right? Yeah. No, we love all of our cousins. Yeah. Yeah. And Anna and Eli and all of our family. All right. We decided to go for a walk and bike ride. Um, the weather is beautiful. Sean said it was supposed to be like... 55 today and um, of course forgot some sunglasses so I'm gonna be squinting at you all this whole time but we decided to get out and go for a walk because it's beautiful and today is actually our last day of our TV cleanse so no TV um, it's been going really well throughout the week we have um, I guess we've been watching like YouTube videos here and there, something on Facebook that'll pop up or a different clip from a family member. Um, but as far as like movies and TV shows, we haven't watched any and it's gone really well. But I will be, bleh, I will be um, blogging about all of that um, later this week, I think, to end that. Lincoln's riding his bike. This is actually his first time out pedaling by himself. Oh, whoa, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? 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 Oh, hat. Thanks, Link. Um, so, yeah, first time pedaling by himself. So that will be exciting this year. Our driveway is just dirt. And so when we want to ride our bike, we have to come to the road, which isn't that horrible, but um, it took some work today. Uh, our driveway is slushy and still a lot of snow on it. And so trying to push a stroller and pull a bike, um, you know, one in each hand was harder <laughs> than I thought it would be. I thought Lincoln could do it by himself, but he couldn't. So I had to, Miller. No, no. Hi. So as we were getting ready to leave, um, there was a creature. Lincoln came running inside when we were getting ready, and was like, "Mom, mom, there's a, there's a mouse in the garage." I thought, "Wow, how did he 
see it. Usually they like zoom to the corners or run away really fast. Um, but sure enough, I come in the garage and there was this mouse looking thing on one of the pillows. And I really don't know what it is. I texted a picture to Sean to see. It might be like a possum or a mole, something like that, but it's like a baby one. Um, and I don't see any others around or a mom or anything. So I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I don't know if I should touch it. Oh gosh. But okay, it's got like a pointy nose and a really long tail. Maybe y'all know what it is, but yeah, weird. I don't know what to do with it. Hi, buddy. It's shaking. I don't know if y'all can see that. Weird. Oh my gosh. Miller. Okay, now Miller. Hey, don't do that. You have soft shoes on. Miller. Okay. Miller decided to go like puddle hopping. So I had to take his shoes off and now he's just wearing blankets around his feet so he doesn't get too cold, but it is really nice out here today. Um, gorgeous. Some of the fields are losing their, um, oh, maybe that's been blurry. Some of the fields have been losing their um, okay, dirt or duh, snow. Some of the fields have been losing their snow, um, but it's so great that spring is coming, the sun is shining. Lincoln off at Center Shot. Uh, Sean went right after work to this program at our church. It's like an archery program, but it involves like a Bible study and outreach for kids. Um, this is the first year that Lincoln will be going. He's a little too young to actually participate. Um, like he doesn't eat, meet the age requir requirements, but um, Sean said that he wouldn't mind him tagging along it shouldn't be that big of a problem um, so Lincoln is super excited about that get bow you'll come off the line come in get your bow then after everybody has their bow your bow will be on your toe until everybody's in a safe position lined up ready to go with their arrows then it will be shoot You wanna hold it? You wanna hold it? No, <laughs> you don't know how to hold it. I don't think you know how. Should we go find Lincoln? Let's go find Lincoln. Where is he? Lincoln! Where'd he go? Lincoln? 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 Uh oh. We lost Lincoln. So, <clears throat> I just went on a little hunt. Lincoln was not answering me when I was trying to get his attention. And he decided that he wanted to play hide and go seek this morning without me knowing it. And I seriously could not find him. He was quiet as a mouse and he was in here the whole time on his bed. Oh, now you're blurry. <laughs> but he was in here um, just quiet as a mouse and didn't say anything. Uh, and I actually got scared. I checked outside like, did he go outside? Where is he? So, I'm glad that you're here, both my boys. 
<laughs> Love you. Careful, he's so close to the edge. So what happens? Uh, you do a verse that you've known before, or that you already know, that you've memorized, and you say it to your teacher, and then they give you a sticker, and you get to stick it on him, and it looks like he has the measles. Yeah. So we're kind of, we're getting there. My name is Harry Spotter tonight. Harry Spotter. That's Very funny. nice. That's awesome. So let's go to the other rooms. We'll check in with them. We have four rooms going on here, so we'll check in with this one. How's it going in here? Not very well. You guys are doing fine. Oh, I've looked at the other ones. Okay. Who's got the most so far? I can't say who has the most. I've only seen two, actually. Okay. It's going good? All right. Okay, we'll check out another one here. How's it going in here? Good. Good. Let's see Miss Carolyn. Oh, wow. I think you're the most I've seen so far. These guys are really... Wow. They're really Every, you know, well, everyone's up on their feet in this one. Like the other classrooms, everyone's just sitting down. So, yeah. Good, good. Okay, we'll go to the last one. Music time, music time. I'm videoing right now. How's it going? Oh, it's so quiet in here. Feeling so well. Oh man. Oh, you're running for your money with Carolyn, I think. Okay, let me get closer. We're doing a video here. Wow. You have any on your arms? Oh, a couple. Yeah. I put one on. Feel bad? Oh man. You guys are doing good. They're all lined up. You guys are Mr. Craig. You're the loner over here, Mr. Craig. <laughs> hey, if you guys have more, Mr. Craig is listening too. Go talk to Mr. Craig. Do you have boots? Do you have boots on? Me yeah, too. Look at, let's check these out. Look at you. Cowboys and jammies. Awesome. Let's see your boots. These boots were Lincoln's when he was little. Got tweenies on them. Okay. Stand up, Miller. Let's see who's trying to walk in those. I think they're too big, actually. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> His foot's like cranked to the side. Those are too big. Too big. <laughs> too big. Shoes are too big. And you have yogurt all over your shirt. Dude. Oh, man. Miller, what happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. What did you do? Oh, my. What is that? What happened? Uh-oh. Did you spill it? Uh -uh. No? Did you do it? Huh? Uh oh. Yeah. Were we going on vacation today? Yes. And mommy's trying to get stuff done. And we decided to dump out the dog food. Awesome. So. We will have to clean this up before we start any more packing. 
Thank you, Miller. Thank you for dumping that out. Uh-oh. Okay, come over here. Let's sweep it up. Okay, come here. 